Hello. Hello. And welcome to the Highlands, where the sun's getting very low. Yes. We've been wandering around for half an hour trying to find a position where the tripod's not casting a shadow on us. Or it's not blinding <laughs> us. <laughs> you might remember a few weeks ago we told you about our plans to convert one of our barns into the train barn and we're going to build a model railway in there. When the estate agent said it was rustic, we thought it would at least have had a floor. So what we This is the closet. Don't want any jokes about coming out of it. This is the cage. And this is where I like to... <laughs> wheelie bin we won't tell you who's in what's in there but... oh <laughs> we've got ends in here well when we left you we said we were going to cost it all up and see what work needed to be done and take it from there and then about a week or two ago we said we were pausing it because it was a, quite a big job and we didn't have the money <laughs> big job well <laughs> big job that's what he was doing literally five <laughs> minutes ago wasn't it it was a double flusher no! well we've been doing the sums and adding it all up and we've wasted so much paper with all the sums we've still and, got no money left <laughs> and, we, <laughs> and we finally worked out what needs doing and it's not really good news it's not bad news but it's not good news but it's made us wonder how we can do this yeah. and it's made us come up with a couple of new options which we're going to tell you about today I knew we should do more vlogs from the bar. Don't, we'll sink. Yay! <laughs> uh, this is, was, the train barn. So you might remember it from a few vlogs ago and we were talking about how we were going to convert this into something habitable for the big train layout. Well, we've been doing loads of costumes, we've had people around, we've been looking at YouTube and Google and stuff. It's and it, not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. So what have we got to do in here to make it worthy? Well, first thing we've got to do is we've got to dig the floor out because it's not level. It's just soil. And then we've got to concrete and level the floor. Yes. That's the first thing. We've got to do something with the walls. It's the original stone walls, which are just under a metre thick. And they are brilliant. They're going to be well insulated for winter. But we've got to find some way of stopping all the dust from coming off. Now, some people say don't seal them. Some people say to seal them. There is a way we could do it that would stop the dust coming off. Uh, so that wouldn't be too much of a job. Uh, the roof is okay. We've just got one joist that we've got to uh, replace, which is not that big a deal, but it just adds to the cost. Then we've got to put a lowered ceiling to stop dust from up there falling down onto the train set. We need to get a new window. We need to get a new door that's a bit more secure and seal that in. And we've got to make some provision for the birds and possibly bats that are roosting and nesting yeah. up in the roof space. We think we've got bats up there. And we've got to protect those. So it is doable. And then we've got to tidy it all up and build the train set. So it is doable, but the cost of doing that got us thinking that there's probably a couple more options that might be about the same price, but might actually be easier to pull off. Le less sweeping up. Speaking of pulling off, do you want to take the plug out? <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> Come on, pull the plug, we need to get out. Shall I rock us out? No, Shall no, 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 me knees. We have two more options. Well, that we're thinking about anyway. It's probably about a hundred that these nice people will say, oh, you should have done this. You should do this. You should do this. <laughs> right, behind what was gonna be the train barn, we've got a little bit of land which we're not using. It's about a quarter of an acre. Yeah. And it's where the bees are at the moment, but they're kind of on a corner of it. So they're not gonna be in the way. And it's nice and flat. And what we could do is we could get a new building, like a, a good shed. We could. And put that on and it could be like the train shed. But then I got to thinking, well, what's even better than a shed to put a railway model set up in? An actual train, well, a carriage. Yeah. Like an old goods wagon or a small carriage. Now the prices are about the same as they are for a decent shed. Yeah. And the work would be the same really, because we'd need to insulate it because it is quite out of the way here, so it's open to the elements. We'd need to find some way of heating it, which we would have to do with the train barn anyway. Yes, we would. We'd have to have some way of controlling the humidity because we don't want the track and the electrics and the bits and pieces to get damp in the cold. Because it starts sparking. So we'd need to control the humidity. And obviously we need some security for it because as it builds up, it will be worth a little bit of money. So they're the three options. 
it's either the train barn and converting the barn or getting some sort of shed some decent shed that we can fit out or buying a, an old carriage i know what you goods want wagon. i want the carriage and the goods wagon i'm also going to need about 15 meters of track and some sleepers and some ballast which yes. is a bit of a pain but i think the finished result because if we put a carriage on here it's, it'll sink i think the finished result would be absolutely amazing now to get a carriage and the bit of track and, and then do it all out and insulate it and get it ready i've costed this out would cost about the same as it would to convert the barn into the train barn and it would be about as much work the difficulty is finding a carriage i've actually got my eye on a couple finding a carriage that's not too wrecked and the, the the ones i've seen are between eight and ten meters long which is about the length of the train barn anyway yeah uh, they're about two and a half meters wide so they're narrower but we can work with that because people have done that i've seen yeah. some on the internet of somebody that's done something very similar yeah so it could be done so why are we talking to you about it i've well, got no idea <laughs> i like to know what you think i think i think if we did a poll that I think the carriage one would work best. I do. The problem is getting it here because we are out of the way and it's all single track roads and it would have to go uh, around some corners and through a field and up a bit of a hill. And a couple of cranes. So it, <laughs> it would be a challenge for any HGV driver to get a carriage onto this little bit of ground behind us. Very much so. But I think the finished result would be amazing. What do you think? I think it'd be awesome. I think because it's going to be such a big layout, if we go for the 10 meter train, that's quite a, that's a 10 meter layout by two meters. And I'm actually gonna do it in bits. So I'm gonna do sections at a time. Yes. And I'm not gonna copy any kind of particular layout anywhere. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be inspired by things I like. So take the far north line, like the one that goes from Inverness up to Thurso and Wick. I'm gonna do something inspired on that. So like a single track line, countryside and things like that. Right, yeah. And then I'm gonna do like a main line and then I'm gonna do like a branch line and I'm gonna do like a goods yard. And it's all gonna be inspired by places that we know. Is there gonna be a canal? There'll be a canal in there. There'll be a little silver fox in there. And even things like uh, like the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway, which Ooh, has got yes. the steam trains on it. Cause I've got some steam trains already and I could kind of do that. And then as I'm doing each section, then you start to connect them together. So you get this kind of like, you know what I mean, don't you? And that's what I'm gonna do. So. We've got a plan. At He's got last. a plan. We've got a plan at last. Uh, I'm going to take it really slowly once we start building because I want to do it right and it can be quite costly. I don't want to make any mistakes. So I'm going to do it right and take it slowly from the start. So we want to know your opinions as well. Drop your opinions down in the comments. I'm dreading that. I'm what? dreading it. <laughs> eh? I love hearing from you. I love it. Uh, it's a short one this week, but if you've liked the vlog, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, especially if you like trains. And if you hit the wobbly bell, YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog, which is usually every week. We might miss a week every now and then. We might do. We are doing a live vlog on Tuesday. Nobody told me. So if you're watching this a week on Thursday, you well, missed it. You've missed it, but you can watch it on catch up. <laughs> Uh, if you want to support the channel, there's a link up above Sean's head, or it's in the video description if it's not there. Are we all done? I'm done, I need a nap. Can we go train shopping now? Yeah! <laughs> See you later, bye bye. In this catnip. It's actually quite warm under the sun, isn't it? Warm. Warm, as my granddad used to say. Ice. Sean's wiping his, <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> Same thing. I hope you've washed your hands. Oh! <laughs> Apart from the sun being so low, it's literally scraping, not the barrel, what's it called? Scraping! That's the what, horizon! That's what we've been doing since we moved off the boat with these vlogs, isn't it? Scraping the barrel. Oh! Bit. Five, four, eleven, three. Do you remember we were talking about setting up the train barn a few weeks ago? I do. Yeah, it's a bit slow. It's a bit slow off the mark this morning. You've got loads of hair in your ears. Ow! <laughs> ow! 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 What's that thing? Rubber, rubber dub dub. Three men ow. in the tub. Yes! Blitters! Whoa! It's like that ride at Blackpool, isn't it? It's nothing like a ride at Blackpool! <laughs> It'll keep him out of my way, won't it? Oh, it's... We've, we've, we'd already finished.